Alright, now today I'm going fishing for sharks, but before I do, I need to catch some bait in the cast net. So after getting enough bait for fishing, I had a frightening encounter with the world's most venomous fish. So you can see this, it actually looks like a rock, but we just caught him in the cast net. It's one of the most dangerous fish in the world. It's a stonefish. I'll just pick him up like this. I would not recommend it though, because these guys, if you come in close, you get a shot of those razor sharp spikes. If that goes into you, a lot of people stand on them and what happens, they're in excruciating pain because of this little guy. And I'll put him down. You can just see this bit of blood on my finger there. When I was going through the cast net, he actually just grazed me and it's starting to sting a bit. So I'll just go home and put something on it. Now this is definitely something to be careful of when you're walking through the mangroves. Because at low tide, what happens? Well, these guys will just stay out of water even for long periods of time until the high tide comes up again. And they're extremely camouflaged. You can see that, they just look like a rock or a stone. That's how they get their name, the stonefish. It's actually starting to really sting right now. Ooh, it's actually really hurting. So we'll have to go back home, put some Dettol on it, and then we'll let him go. Perfect. So after being stabbed by the world's deadliest fish and blowing off a trip to the hospital, we went fishing for some sharks. So we've just arrived at the destination and we're just getting our rods ready and well how we're going to be fishing for them is we've got a relatively big sinker because the tide's just um, going out at the moment and what we have is about two foot of big wire trace because these bull sharks they have razor sharp teeth and they can just trump through normal nylon and well this is the thing that will actually get you one it's a circle hook so what will happen the bull shark We'll take the bait and we'll come around and get hooked right in the corner of my mouth. Well, that's the theory anyway. So we'll see how we go. And well, bull sharks, when I go fishing for them, I normally use eel, but we couldn't actually get one. So we're going to be using some fresh mullet. We, you saw us catch them just before. Well, that's, that's just a nice little mullet. And I'm going to be, what you do, is just through the top lip just like this and there we'll see if we can catch one okay so you don't have to cast very far out here so we'll just chuck it out just like that okay so one's just taking out line should i strike yep you should be able to feel it the weight of the bait still on there just like oh. hooked him <laughs> taking out drag we don't know whether this is a bull shark, I'm pretty sure it is, or a catfish. So we're just gonna have to find out. Look at that. That's some serious power right there. Holy get the shot over there. We're just trying to get him in the net. You can see him. Sure. Okay, so the circle hook did its job. You can see you just hooked him in the corner of the mouth there. So that is how you catch a bull shark. We're just going to measure him. Say about 82 centimetres. That's a nice big bull shark. One of the amazing things about these guys is they're the only shark that can actually go in fresh and salt water. So it's a really cool creature. They've really like adapted to it. And see, just this big nose at the front here, that's covered in sensors, which helps them pick up their prey, all movements in the water and everything like that. And the other reason why they're such an amazing predator is because of these teeth. I'll see if I can get to show you them. Yeah, he's just opening up just like there. Um, no one's going to be really swimming in here because this river's packed with them. Okay, so that's how you catch the Logan River bull shark. Isn't that so cool? 
Well, I decided not to eat this bull shark, so maybe one day he can grow big and attack some surfers. Nah, just kidding. Uh, attacks on humans are extremely rare, and you're more likely to get um, killed by taking a selfie than to be killed by a bull shark. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it, share it around, tell your friends if you like this kind of stuff, to share it with them and make them subscribe. <laughs> thank you.